Well, welcome back, everybody. Hope you had a fun weekend doing nothing. It stopped raining long enough for us to actually get outside Saturday afternoon and Sunday uh, till about early afternoon, so it, uh, it was a good time. I thought today it would be fun to look at one of my older videos that came before the GoPro times uh, with me when I was doing a lot of things with this camera right here. This was how I was filming a lot of video. So the video we're going to watch today is from way back in 2012 before I even owned a GoPro. So this video was flying a 434 Echo Pop. Uh, this was back in 2012 just after I had gotten recurrent, gotten kind of all of my, uh, got, got my BFR back current, got my medical done. Um, and I had been flying little bits here and there. Had to go to uh, Atlanta. Um, at the time my boss was based at PDK in Atlanta so I went down there for basically a one-night trip uh, but it was the first time I've flown a long cross country in a really long time so carried this camera with me to kind of capture some of it. Um, first half of the video was the first day going down um, and the second half of the video was on the way home so it was pretty cool though because just just getting myself re-familiarized with navigation and, and cross-country flying like this. Um, one thing I didn't like about it though is having a handheld camera and not having a GoPro um, back in those days. There's no takeoff or landing sequences in any of this video. It's really only at the points where I was in flight and kind of VFR and had everything stabilized where I could actually pick up the camera and kind of film something. Oh, this shot right here where this airplane is uh, flying in front of right next to me and he, I remember ATC calling me saying that guy was you know they, they had him on radar but weren't talking to him and he, he was pretty close to me all things considered so uh, anyway here we are day two return uh, same thing again no ability to uh, catch any of the takeoff or landing sequences so it just kind of uh, ca caught what I could uh, in flight and I really like this song. It's uh, Broken Monitors by Bernard Fleischmann. That, uh, oh, I love this scene where I'm sitting here talking. I wasn't talking to anybody. I just wanted to make it look like there was a reason for me to be pointing the camera at myself. <laughs> so, it's professional acting. Anyway, it, in this video, uh, there's not really a whole lot to it, but one of the things I like about this video is this was really where I really started the concept of what I wanted uh, flight vlogging to be. Um, and very primitive in my editing and filming days at that point. Um, but what was cool about this video is this got picked up actually by National Flight Training and they started putting this out there to kind of advertise. Uh, early in the days, this was actually before uh, the, the current owners of the flight school were even there. This was the previous regime that owned the flight school when I rented this airplane and filmed it. So early in the days of the new regime, that this it was an opportunity for them to kind of use that video to promote the school and and it was kind of neat because it was the first video of mine that had ever gotten any kind of exposure um and i mean even in all of that it really only made it to about 200 views it's just kind of interesting to see that's where this all started really that was the first time i think i ever really filmed flying outside of things i was doing uh way back in the early 2000s with a vhs camcorder so all right well that's a uh Good story to share for today. Um, we'll be back tomorrow with another one. Stay safe out there, everybody.